Hi everybody, Robert Jones, back in the kitchen today with you, and I am very excited. I have something totally new and different. I acquired a cheese making kit. Um, this one is from Agrarian, which is a, uh, sold through Williams Sonoma. Um, and this one is called the Cheese Tasting Kit. Makes four natural cheeses. It makes mozzarella, ricotta, chev, and fromage blanc. If I'm getting the pronunciations wrong, forgive me. Anyway, um, this is supposed to make, it says according to this, 20 batches of cheese. So I'm very excited about this. Today we're going to be doing mozzarella and I am excited. You guys are going to find out how easy it is to make this cheese at home. Uh, it just takes a couple products um, which come in this kit. But I also, uh, you don't need the kit. You can do it just without it. You just need a couple things like citric acid, salt, and uh, some rennet. And of course milk, but you know, that's how it goes. So. I'm excited, stay with me today, and let's learn how to make some cheese. Cheese. But before we get started, hit the subscribe button. Come on back, learn how to make other good stuff. Okay, you guys, so normally I don't go for the whole, like, describe everything that's going on here because it just takes too much time on a video, but I think it's important for cheese making because you are gonna need some specific um, things. We've got our kit here, but let me show you what else you're gonna need here. You're gonna need a bowl that's microwave safe. You're gonna need some um, small bowls, or I'm gonna use cups in this case. I've got two different spoons, one to go in each one of these. I've got a measuring set of spoons. I have a chinois or strainer, whatever you wanna call it. And I also have a slotted spoon that's very sturdy because we're gonna need that. Um, I also have on the stove a big pot for a gallon of milk and our kit. You might wanna know. So in the kit, um, there is some cheesecloth, which we are not going to use today. There is a gift certificate, apparently from William Sonoma. Um, there is a thermometer. Now, this is the one that comes with the kit, um, and it's an instant read, chef's style thermometer. Um, comes like this. But we're not gonna use that because I have an electronic one that I think was gonna work better. So we'll set that aside. These are for the other things. You also get um, these little baskets with holes in them so you can drain the cheese, but we're not gonna use those today. So all that stuff we'll put aside. What we are gonna use today is we're going to use the recipe that came with it. So this is not my recipe. This is the one from William Sonoma. And it is here. You guys can see fresh mozzarella. And also what comes in here is citric acid, vitamin C and also cheese salt, which is supposed to dissolve in um, the cheese curd easier. And then finally, <clears throat> there are the rennet tablets. Now I'll go on. Dun, 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 you can see what's happening here. What is rennet? Okay, but anyway, so these are the tablets and I don't know if you can tell, they're scored because we're only gonna use a quarter of a tablet. So that's it. This is an enzyme to make the milk coagulate. Okay, enough of talking about all this stuff. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out, um, you wanna use distilled water or water with it does not have any chlorine in it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a half a cup in one container and a whole cup in the other. Ooh, tippy tippy. And now we have our rennet tablet. So we're gonna open this up and this is good for four different uses. So we're just gonna cut off one quarter of this if I can figure out how to get it open. Maybe I just push it through. Yeah, okay. So here's what the rennet tablet looks like. And it has a plus on the other side. You guys can see that or not. We're just gonna cut it in quarters. Doing the Costco way with the scissors here. All right, so here's about a quarter. And we're just gonna put the quarter and the smaller. Now we're gonna set this aside. This will be used for other cheese making, but you should put it in wrapping, wrap it up tight and put it in the freezer. Okay, then we have our citric acid, which looks like this. And we're going to put a teaspoon and a half in this one. So I'm using half teaspoon, so it's three of these. Two, three. Citric acid. Okay, then we just wanna make sure that this is all dissolved. Oh, that is dissolving very easily. Look at that, gone, boom. And then the same with the citric acid. Might take a little bit to stir this up. All right, there we go. All dissolved. Let's get to making cheese. Okay, you guys, I am using Kirkland um, homogenized milk. This is just one gallon of regular milk. 
and we're just going to put it in the pot. It's cold, it's just in the fridge, and we need to get this up to 90 degrees. So we're going to put the whole thing in here. The pot is very clean and sterilized. Just has some stains if you're wondering what that is. Our whole milk in here. One gallon of milk. Choo -choo -choo. Okay, now we're going to put on a medium heat. And then we're going to add our citric acid. You can see it's all dissolved. It's nice and clear. So we're just going to pour that in. And then we're just going to slowly stir this. Now it's not to get crazy. It's just to keep it agitated so it doesn't burn on the bottom. And just to let you know, I have a thermometer here. Dun dun. It has a probe and it has this. So I'm going to turn this on. And we're tested out here. See where we're at. It says we are at 67 and climbing. So it was probably at 45. Now it's at 67. 79, 82. All right, 89, 90. All right, turning off the heat. We've got our mixed up rennet here. I'm going to pour this in. I'm going to put the heat back on just for a couple seconds. I'm going to stir this in slowly and bring this up to 110 degrees. And it says to do this in a calm, gentle manner. And again, I think all we're trying to do here is to keep it from burning on the bottom. All right, we're at 99. Oh, there you go. You can see it's starting to separate. You guys see that? That's what we're looking for. Just slowly move it around. 104. Okay, we're in 105. I'm going to turn off the flame. And I know the pot's going to carry it over. What you guys can see here is you can see the cheese separating from the whey. How magical is that? Now, in real time, this has only been like six minutes. All right, we're at 110. I'm gonna take out the probe and we're gonna let this sit just for a couple minutes. Okay guys, check it out. You see the nice big chunks? Don't wanna break them up. Just wanna slowly push them together. Like this. All right, now I'm going to attempt to take them out and put them in our clean bowl with the chinois in. Just carefully set them in. Look at that! It's so magical, nice and white and creamy. Look at this, guys. It's minutes. Minutes to making cheese. All right, you guys, check it out. So we got all our cheese in here. So I'm gonna try to drain this a little bit, like this, and I'm gonna dump the whey back in. We don't want that. We're just letting this drain. And I'm gonna put the cheese in here. And then I'm gonna run this around in the pot and pick up any extra cheese I can. So now you can get a little. I'm gonna stir it one way, and I go the other way and try to pick up as much cheese as possible. Look at that. We got all the cheese. Just roll this around. Put that here. Okay, you guys, you can see our curds here are forming a nice ball. We've also got some whey in here, so let's drain off the whey. And then we're just gonna gently press this a couple times to see if we can get a little more of the whey out. Not too much. Okay, so now we're going to put this in the microwave for just a second. We're gonna put it in for about one minute. We wanna heat up the cheese, and this is the time you would sanitize your hands or put on some gloves. All right, so we'll see you in one minute. Okay, so we microwaved for one minute. You can see more whey came out, so let's dump that out. All right, we've got our nice soft cheese here. So now, we're gonna sprinkle this with a teaspoon and a half of the special salt, which is not really that special. It's just really fine. All right, so a teaspoon and a half of salt. Make sure all the chunks are there. All right, then we're just going to mix this in by hand. Now, it's a little warm. 
and it's a little warm. So if you have sensitive hands, you can use some spoons to do this. We just want to develop the stretchiness of the cheese. So we're just kind of pressing it together, and you can see the whey is still coming out. And it looks chunky, but don't worry. It's going to get stretchy in a minute. I think we're need to heat this up a little bit more. So we're going to put it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds. Okay, so now it's really hot. We're going to just try to pre pressing it together. I don't like the spoon. I'd rather use my hands. Yep. It's quite hot. Hot. Okay, you guys, I drained it again. Now we're going to make this in little balls and we'll put it in the fridge. Alright you guys, I got our nice little cheese balls here and they are still warm so I'm going to put them in the fridge for about an hour and let them cool down and they will go from being very soft to being sliceable. Alright, so we'll see you in an hour. Okay you guys, it has been about an hour. I just took the cheese out of the fridge. Now, I'm a little disappointed because I wanted it to be all super delicious looking but um, this is my first time making this and using a kit so you know don't know how it's gonna go but I did taste a little piece of this and it does taste amazing so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a tiny little caprese salad just to show you guys and do a little taste test with here so let's set this aside I've got my cutting board here I've got a little tomato if I can get this in the I've got a little tomato here so let's do a little tomato action Here. All right, and now I'm going to take one of our cheeses here, if I can get it off the plate. You can see it looks, um, it's nice and stiff, so I'm going to slice it up here. All right, now just do a little assembly. A little sad cheese, a little tomato. A little basil, a little more cheese, a little more tomato, a little more basil. And since cheese is the star of our show, okay. And now I have some pre made balsamic glaze, which I did a taste test of, which uh, is pretty good. We'll just do a little, little of the magic here. Look at that! Hello! Delicious homemade caprese salad. I'll even zoom in on it for you. Look at that. How good does it look? And you made it fresh yourself. I'll even take a little picture. All right, let's give it a taste. All right, you guys, it is a moment you've been waiting for. Woo! I'm excited because look, we made a little caprese salad with fresh mozzarella cheese we made today. So, um, it just fell over. Oh well, well, put it back. Okay, so look at that. It just keeps falling over. Alright, we'll go this way. So, mmm. So, uh, we have our fresh mozzarella that we made ourselves. We have some little tiny tomatoes and some basil. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to just taste the, I just want to taste the cheese by itself. Mmm. Now, I know, and I will say it out loud here, that my cheese is not exactly smooth, but it does have the consistency. It is chewy. Um, it's just not pulled into strings, but whatever. It tastes good. The salt level is right, and it has the mozzarella flavor to it um, with the citric acid, the salt, and the rennet in there. All right, so let's take a bite. I'm going to do the whole magic bite. I'm going to use my fingers, and I'm going to use everything here. I'm going to put the basil and the tomato and the cheese all together. Mmm. Mmm. So fresh. Fresh basil. Fresh cheese, fresh tomato. It's really good, you guys. I hope you guys give this a try. As you saw, it's not that difficult to take. Um, I would say that overall it takes about 20 minutes to actually make the cheese, but then you gotta give it some time to cool down. But you don't have to. You could still eat it warm. That's up to you. Um, I was just doing it this way to make the salad. So, all right, you guys. I hope you try this out. 
All right, you guys, what'd you think? Making cheese is not that hard at home. Um, I can't see doing this every day, but you know, if you're having a special occasion or you're having some friends or family or loved ones over, this is, could be fun. You can do this with kids. You can do this with lovers. You can get your hands gooey and be like, oh, la, la. oh sorry, that's ghost, not cheese. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to come back for more. We got more taste tests, and more cheese making, and more all kinds of stuff coming up. I'm Robert Jones. This is Unionius Mark II. Keep it up with the Joneses, and I'll talk to you guys next time.